extremely quiet walking in, pretty much dead silent, and there was just deer everywhere. I know they eat these green leaves that are on these like small waist high bushes, I'm not sure what they are, but I know they eat them, and I think they were just feeding on them this morning because how spooky deer left and right, but they weren't getting spooked until they were about 10 to 20 yards from me. One deer didn't even spook until it was like 5 yards from me and I had no idea it was even there. Like, that's how quiet I was being. I'm feeling really good about this morning. I am wide awake. Feels like opening day, honestly. Well, those two bedded does left right at 11.15. There's plenty of does in this area, but I think in the box are just more north. I, w I really want to go to that tree I was in on Saturday, two nights ago. I think I can get out of my tree without her seeing me. Deer were blowing in here all morning at the bobcat at me. They came in downwind a couple times and still moving so I'm gonna get down as quietly as I can it's windy so I got a good chance of sneaking out of here without her seeing me as long as she stays bedded and facing that same direction okay I want to get down so bad 
I did successfully make it out of my tree without that bedded doe spotting me. I did not get out of the woods, however, without a decent buck spotting me. I've seen more bucks on the ground this year than I have in a tree. And I know it's because I'm getting out of my stand during midday movement. I know it is. I have a hard time being in the same spot all day long. I do. Especially when the wind is changing from west to southwest. And that, that stand I was in this morning, it's only good on a west or a northwest wind, not a southwest. I'll keep trying. And I'm really excited to go to this spot. Let's see if I can climb a tree without spooking any deer. putting on my first stick. An eight point buck came in and got right at seven yards of me. <sighs> he didn't see me. I can see over the hill he came up on now, but when he was coming up, being on the ground, I didn't see him till he crested right over the top of the hill. So that's why he was able to get so close without me seeing. I just got down and leaned up against the tree and I kept a tree between me and him. And he didn't really spook. He just stood there, kind of looked around and just kind of slowly turned around and decided not to cross the creek and come to me. So that's good because I was not ready. I'm excited that I saw that nice buck. Little disappointed I wasn't in my tree already. But I might have shot him if I was up in my tree. He wasn't like a no doubter, but he would have been tempting for me, that's for sure. Especially if I could get the kill on camera, I'm not gonna be extremely picky anymore. I've had quite a few opportunities this year to get my fumbling and my practice out of the way. Now it's time to kill something. just came through here and is going down to the bedding area. That thicket I was talking about. Man, is it windy today. I'm gonna be concerned about letting an arrow fly if it's this windy. It was only supposed to be 10 mile per hour winds today. This is not 10, this is like 20. Jeez, please.
just had a really nice buck at 45 yards following a doe. Oh my gosh. They did not come close enough. That was the closest I had them. Oh my gosh. I wasn't able to get any film. That's the nicest buck I've seen since January. Oh, it was like no doubter. That was a no doubter. If only they had come a little closer. Got 30 minutes left of shooting light. I'm keeping an eye out in case that doe turns around. He's right on her trail, like five yards behind her. And you know what really sucks? Is I left my grunt call at home. Otherwise, I would have given that a go. My goodness. That was a really good sight, though.
sitting over here, looking at all the trees I could have set up in across the creek that they played around for 15 minutes. <laughs> now I figure if I got does all around me, there's got to be a bug cruising around here somewhere. able to fully draw back because the angle was weird. I tried, but it, it didn't work. And it's kind of a good thing because she had two really tiny fawns with her and I didn't notice that she had little ones with her until I was already drawn back. They were really small. Like really small. I don't mind if it's a big group of does with than one adult, but I don't, I don't like when those little fawns are very clearly dependent. They had to be born late spring. They look like they barely got rid of their spots. It's a good thing I wasn't able to complete that like I was attempting to. deer with a, with a compound bow and I literally watched him fall down and he was exactly where I saw him go down. 21 does and no bucks on November 19th. The population is insane in here. So I got out of the woods. It is noon and I'm 
I'm getting some lunch. I have a lot of chores and stuff to do. And I could do them tomorrow night. Or I could hunt tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is Youth Gun Opener. And it's also Saturday. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what to do because I'm tired. I'll figure out what to do once I have food in my stomach. I just saw a doe like 80 yards from the parking lot. <laughs> a really big one. Uh, these dang deer, man. They're moving. I have to finish hunting today. I have to. I should be excited to go. I'm tired, so I'm not excited to go. In order to stay excited, I'm going to hunt a spot I haven't hunted yet. I think. Just about does it for today.
does not even count the eight that I spooked walking in. And because I was late, 